Now, we all know that we need to feed and house our pets, but how much do we need to mentally stimulate them as well? Joining us now to tell us how we can stop our bored pet from becoming a naughty pet are Vet Care's Alex Melrose and dog trainer Callie McFarlane. Good morning to you both. Morning. Hey. And now, stop playing with our pet <laughs> yeah. yeah, Alex, we'll get to those a little bit later. I think I failed. <laughs> you probably did. <laughs> Kelly, is it true that if a pet is understimulated, it can lead to a bit of bad behaviour? Absolutely. A lot of people just don't realise how much an animal does need mental stimulation and unfortunately then we do get bad behaviour such as digging, um, they can escape from your property, barking which is we know a common complaint. And yeah. that's just all signs that they just need a little bit more mental yes. stimulation, they're getting a bit bored. Yeah. Do you think Alex that a healthy and happy mentally stimulated pet is a, definitely a happy one? Yeah, a for healthy sure. fulfilled life? For sure. Look, where, where I start with my clients is just making sure that their dogs are getting walked every day. You do that, you're giving your dog quite a lot of mental stimulation. What happens if you've just got a big garden, they can run around in that, surely? Yeah, well, that's what a lot of people think. But, of course, it's the same garden, essentially, every day. So they're not getting variety. They're not getting to explore. They're not getting new smells and new sensations. So it's really important. Even if you've got a tiny little dog in a massive garden, you've still got to get them out of the house every day. OK, well, yeah. it's just like children. Pretty oh, much. Just like children. <laughs> Kelly, you've brought some games in that Alex has failed at, but yes. dogs and cats can actually pass these. What exactly are they? <laughs> Is it an IQ test? Like we both might fail this. What are they? Um, so real, these are quite, well, this one's a little bit more difficult, but little solitaire yeah. games. Yeah. And you put the treats in the little holes. Um, and then if it's a, a dog, for example, they'll either use their mouth and pick it up, or they learn to push it or pour at it and be able to get, eat the food. So okay. it's a great way to feed their evening dinner or their breakfast instead of just from a bowl. Right, so that's why yeah. Alex failed. There's no little treat no. underneath in there. Okay, yeah. and what about this one? And this one again, so you've got the bricks. So they learn to remove the bricks um, and get the food underneath. Or they can push and slide. Mm. And again, they can use their paws, mouth. Yeah, whatever Do, works. Doesn't it just annoy them? <laughs> no, they love it. They Do they? love it, yeah. I mean, Sizzle now, my little dog, he, um, he's got about four or five games now. And yeah, he loves figuring them all out. And so. that's how you feed him his meal, by yes. making him play with his food. Yeah. Oh. This is the fastest one now. He's figured this one out so quickly. Okay, and yeah. even fish like to play as well, don't they? They do. Yeah, take yes. a look at this. <laughs> so your fish does nothing. Until now. Okay, tell me what's going on here. <laughs> so it's, it, this little fish has been actually trained to play football. Um, they can also do agility courses. As you can see, they're a bit of basketball. But it's a goldfish. So, How? How, yeah. does that work? How does that happen? Uh, same way we can teach cats, dogs and other mammals. And we do what we call target work. So they used a little special pole that went into the tank. And the fish touched it and it would um, flash a light. And then it learned that it would get a treat. And so they would continue that until finally, yeah, they could oh my goodness, get it to it, work. It looks pretty cute anyway. Yeah. What about Very finally, what about close. rabbits and guinea pigs? Do they need to be sort of mentally stimulated as well or just giving them a carrot every now and again and <laughs> stimulation? No, no, look, those guys want um, human interaction. You know, especially rabbits are becoming much more popular now as we're, you know, short on space in our housing and stuff. Yeah. And um, a lot of people have them just like you would think of a cat or dog. And they'll get very interactive, they'll get very calm, they want to hang out in the house, yeah. they'll get quite bossy. They do, they want to chew through your cords, find your yeah. TV. I know yeah. so many people with pet rabbits and that sort. They do go, oh, the cords and the telly, gone again. Yeah. Okay, so they need that stimulation and that interaction. Well, great. Well, maybe you should take these home with I you, have Alex. Practice. You can practice. Thank you. Next time you thank might you. pass the tests. Thank you so much both for coming in, uh, and thank you for those good tips, Kelly and Alex.